How old do you think this guy is? We'll look it up, but he's in his late 60s probably. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. Older than me. <laughs> Not yeah. wiser though. Still got you. <laughs> <laughs> British Columbia has a very strong and diverse fishery that I've been fortunate to enjoy pretty extensively, but there's one fish in particular I have never had a chance to land, and that of course is the mighty and prehistoric sturgeon. In BC, these fish are catch and release only, so they can live upwards of 100 years and grow to a length more than 10 feet. And today, I finally get my chance to catch one. I'm heading out with my buddies Kevin and Lee from Stone Speed Shop, who also played a big role in the truck build. And lucky for me, Lee happens to be somewhat of a professional when it comes to sturgeon fishing. He knows just where to go and just what to do to get me into a fish. But I learned pretty quickly, getting a 400 pound fish back to the boat is a challenge on its own. Yeah, just yank it. Kinda felt weird. Whoa. 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 That was weird. Everybody okay? Yeah. Okay? <laughs> that was wow. crazy. Yeah. Getting heavy yet? Oh, there's a big one too. Whoa! Oh, it's a, it's a good size. Oh, yeah, that's definitely one we have to take to the beach. touched it, it was like gone. But as long as it's pulling, it's worth a yank because it's been, they've been fighting us. Oh. Real, real, it might still be, it just might be a little one. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Here it comes, here it comes. Oh, and it's not a little one. coming right under your boat here. Hey! Nice! Okay, we're getting the picture of you with this one. <laughs> yeah. The chances of landing a large sturgeon are far greater if you have a boat because you can chase and control that fish. But the reality is, this is a big animal with enough power to basically do whatever it wants. Going to John now. Oh, wow! Under the boat, hey, under the boat. Under your kicker. He went under the kicker. Try to close the okay. Watch the back of the boat if you have to stand up. He's pulling a lot of line here. I think it's under his anchor. As we were trying to get away from the traffic and get down river, the fish managed to wrap up in both of the lines from the neighboring boat. And of course we didn't want to lose the fish, but we also had to factor in the well-being of the animal. So here was the general game plan. We were going to try and get the fish to the boat, where we could set a second hook in the sturgeon's mouth, remove the old hook, cut away all of the unused fishing line, release the fish, and get it to shore on a completely new setup. Now for a pretty unorthodox plan, it worked surprisingly well. You're gonna get your first pick. Sweet. <laughs> At this point, I consider it a success. Yeah. It was a big success. From there. Oh, he's that. Hey. Hey. He's getting anxious. And we wanna go right down the lateral line. I'm in right in the crook here? Yeah. Okay. And then we wanna be down the lateral line. 88 inches. So that's seven foot. 
7.6. And then, if you can try and get this, that end of the tape under them, 40, 43. 43. 43, great. 88, 43. How old do you think this guy is? We'll look it up, but he's in his late 60s probably. Oh yeah? Yeah. Wow. Older than me. <laughs> Not yeah. wiser though, still got gotcha. you. <laughs> Cool. Okay, how do we let this baby go? So you want to get the tail towards the shore and uh, and just rock him out there. And see how far you can get me staying on. He's going to pull you through. Yeah, if it was summertime, I like to go swimming with him. <laughs> really? Yeah, but yeah, we'll walk right out because you can go way out here. Off the boat. All right, you do your thing, bro. I'm just going to go with you. I'm going to try and guide his head to the right just to on the right side of the boat. Then it'll wedge themselves under the boat. All right, I'm letting him go. Yeah, let him go. Oh, you should have went and got your GoPro. Yeah, that's okay. We got good Look at him go. Wow. Thanks, amigo. Uh -huh. Success. Hey. We did it. High five. <laughs> Frick yeah, dude. Thank you. Nice work. <laughs> Frick yeah. It may have taken me a few tries to get that first one in, but less than five minutes after lines hitting the water, we were into another one. And hopefully, I can keep this one out of the neighbor's yard. Yeah, control your face this time. <laughs> we'll that first one was practice. I got her down now. <laughs> I don't know how to take it off. That was a run, holy! <laughs> no way! <laughs> Surge number two. Oh, that's as far as two, I think. There you go, buddy. Okay. Beautiful fish. Beauty. This one was 81. Beautiful fish, though. Yeah, wow. All right. All right. Can I bring them out? Yeah, bring them out whenever okay. you're ready. Nice work. Yeah. Woo! Stoked on. <laughs> oh, another one down. Yeah, good job. <laughs> all in all, we ended up hooking into five fish and landing three, which was plenty enough for my arms. So we decided to finish off the day with a run up the Harrison River, the beautiful Harrison Lake.
fresh out of Sturge. We're out here chasing for waterfalls. Oh yeah. I will be forever grateful for all of the help I've had throughout the truck build, but more than anything, I'm thankful for the friendships that came out of it. I'd like to give a great big thank you to Kevin and Lee for making all of this possible. And of course, thanks for watching everybody. As always, take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints, and I'll catch you on the next one. Giving everyone a business so where the new kids in town. A breaking walls, blowing bridges, a leaving rubble like a wrecking ball. I'm going ahead, call us outlaws. Mm -hmm. Cause we tell the wolf off. Yeah. I'm gonna get your umbrella. Cause this wind's gonna kill ya. I better run for some shelter Cause we're blowing down this house We